and they were told to observe a, a fasting till death in order to meet their maker. Uh, the, the accused, uh, the, the suspect was arrested and arraigned in court on the 23rd March this year. Uh, um, before he was released by the court on a cash bill of 10,000. He was rearrested on 14th April this year after he surrendered. Actually, he presented himself to the police and thereafter arraigned in Malindi law courts on 17th April this year, where a custody order of 14 days was granted to enable the police the service conclude investigations. Uh, uh, following um, his recent arrests, those who have since been rescued alive are 29. By yesterday, 47 people have been confirmed dead. However, today, again, additional 11. Therefore, that makes a number of uh, 58 people confirmed dead. Um, and this is out of um, bodies exhumed and those who died on the way to the hospital. A team of experts from the National Police Service, including uh, forensic investigators, uh, homicide det detectives, um, other police officers, as well as um, government uh, pathologists, um, are here with us conducting investigations, uh, uh, carrying out exhumations, and also rescuing those who, be, who are still within this uh, ex expansive uh, land and could be alive. The um, National Police Service, we strongly condemn any form of a religious organization that promotes extremist beliefs and operate outside the confines of the law. Putting the safety and well-being of Kenyans at risk and violating a basic human rights, in this case, the right to life. Well, Article 31 of our Constitution, that is the Kenya, uh, Constitution of Kenya 2010, provides for the right to freedom of conscience, religion, thought, belief, and opinion. The law further requires that the same be done within the boundaries of the law and with, with respect for the rights and safety of, of other, other, other people. Um, on behalf of the National Police Service, we wish to thank members of the public for their cooperation so far. Um, since this matter it was brought, it, it was important to us, brought to our attention. We also extend our gratitude uh, to many human rights bodies and organizations, and most imp importantly, the media for your support. Um, that is the much uh, we wanted to let you know uh, this morning and uh, we thank you um, for coming with us this far um, to this village um, so unless maybe if there's any matter of concern you want me to address to yes Catherine um, my question is you have said that this oh, sorry my name is Catherine sorry, from Nigeria. and my question uh, you said that uh, this man has of police for a while um, so how could the administration drop the ball in this way thank you Catherine I think uh, we, we know uh, all the time we are guided by the constitution of this country and the laws of this country as a, as a service so as we did our part we we effect arrests when any person commits um, a criminal offense we effect arrests then present to judiciary which we shall have done our part. Therefore, as I've told you, 
we uh, this 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 uh, person in 2017 that is when the national police service got interested in his activities and we arrested him not once on a number of occasions and you have presented it before the court of law and um, the pp will argue the matter before court then a decision is made by uh, the court of law but uh, Catherine, we are not here to point fingers or shift blame. I think when this matter, um, let's, let's do what is expected of us. We are not shifting blame at all, not pointing fingers, please. Sir, my name is Farkia Hussain from the University. According to police estimation, for how long has this been going on? And uh, was there any intelligence prior to all this? Uh, uh, thank you. Um, well, what uh, maybe to respond to your concern as i've told you 2017 is when police got interested in this person um but, but I, I, i'll let you know there are there are many other people we are in, uh, uh, following up we're interested in whom we believe are involved in similar similar issues so there is a lot more happening, uh, not just this person, but there is a lot of effort being put uh, to arrest, and anybody found culpable will be presented, will be uh, um, taken to court to answer charges for the wrong he or she will have committed. We are guided by constitution and the laws of this country, but the commitment on the part of the National Police Service is there, and that's why I'm here with the DCI. Right, we've come here because, as I've said, anybody we are going to find culpable will be dealt with as stipulated by the law. Thank you, Kelvin. Thank you, Kelvin. Thank you, Kelvin. Uh, I assure you. And that's why we've put together a very strong team so that um, these um, investigations are carried out professionally. That's why we have the given a government uh, chemist with us, very senior pathologist with us here. Um, our best investigators are here because we like to be thorough. Uh, therefore, incidentally also, the DPP is part of uh, these investigations. But um, let me not go to the details. As you know, this is a matter, is a matter already before court.